The iPhone has nothing to do with this. The Huawei Mate 80 is now official, debuting an impressive 8,000 nit screen alongside a dual periscope. Huawei has introduced this new flagship series, which comes with four different models. All of them have abandoned the curves to embrace flat screens featuring 2.5D edges, and they run on Harmony OS 6.0. Let's begin with the standard Huawei Mate 80. It features a 6.75-inch OLED display equipped with an LTPO refresh rate of 120Hz. It features the Kirin 902 processor, still considered the last generation for this model. It offers a 35% performance boost over previous models due to software optimizations. Its cameras include a main 50-megapixel camera with variable aperture from f1.4 to f4.0, optical stabilization, and an RIYB sensor. The ultra-wide angle camera is 40 megapixels with an aperture of f2.2. And finally, the telephoto is a periscope type, but with a standard 12 megapixel sensor with f aperture, 3.4 optical stabilization and Huawei's RIYB technology. To make it clearer, their focal lengths are 13, 24 and 125 millimeters. As you can see, there is a very significant jump in optical zoom from the main camera to the periscope camera as we are talking about the 5.5 optical zoom. The short distance zoom might not be ideal, but it's not the worst. Then upgrade to a better mid-range zoom. The battery is 5750 milliamp hours with support for 66 watts of wire charging and 50 watts of wireless charging. Now, let's move on to the Huawei Mate 8080 Pro. This model keeps a 6.75 inch screen, however, there's a significant change in the processor. The version with 12GB of RAM employs the Kirin 9030, which is 35% more powerful than the previous generation. Meanwhile, the version with 16GB of RAM utilizes the Kirin 9030 Pro, which is 42% faster than the last generation. The cameras change as well. The main one stays at 50 megapixels with identical features. The ultra-wide angle is also the same as the base model. However, the telephoto is now a telemacro with 48 megapixels and a much brighter f2.1 aperture featuring optical stabilization. The focal lengths remain at 13, 24 and 92.5 millimeters. This means it will have an optical zoom of about four times. But since it has high resolution sensor, it would offer you up to 8x still optical quality. Charging goes up to 100 watts wired and 80 watts wireless. But now let me tell you about the Huawei Mate 80, 80 Pro Max, which is the top of the range that grows to 6.9 inches on its dual layer OLED display. To further enhance the brightness, it exclusively uses the Kirin 9030 Pro. Its camera system is the most advanced with four lenses. The 50 megapixel main camera has a variable aperture from f1.4 to f4 optical stabilization and an RYB sensor. The ultra wide angle shares the same features as other series members. Now for the telephotos, the first is a 50 megapixel telemacro with f2.1 aperture optical stabilization and an RYB sensor. The second is a 50 megapixel super telephoto with a 3.2 aperture. It is not as bright, but it is much more distant. It has optical stabilization and also a YB sensor. This means that this system covers focal lengths of 13, 24, 90.5 and 140 millimeters. That is to say that it has optical zoom of 4 and 6.2 X. But since it integrates a high resolution sensor in the super telephoto, it would achieve a 12.4x still with optical quality. Definitely that will be very nice to see. Although it is curious that other Chinese manufacturers are betting on putting 200 megapixel sensor to the highest zoom camera they have to improve the zoom a very long distance. However, Huawei has not chosen that option yet. The battery is a large 6000 mAh for this Pro Max version. Additionally, there is the Mate 80 RS Ultimate design. This particular device not only shares the camera and battery specifications of the Pro Max, but it also features a unique ceramic design along with third generation tempered basalt glass, which is the hardest glass that Huawei offers. Moreover, it is the only device that provides up to 20 gigabytes of RAM. All models feature autofocus on both the rear and front cameras. The IP Endurance 69, 
as well as the IP Endurance 69, are available in combinations of 12, 16, or 20 gigabytes of RAM, along with 256, 512 gigabytes, or even one terabyte of internal storage. Regarding the pricing, the Mate 80 begins at a price of 4,699 yuan, which is approximately $660. Meanwhile, the Mate 80 Pro goes up to 5,999 yuan, which translates to roughly $844. Then the Pro Max model starts at 7,999 yuan, which is approximately $1,125. And finally, the RS Ultimate design is priced at 12,999 yuan, which is about $1,830. However, remember that the prices here are not the same as over there. Please let me know if you'd like to see Huawei launch these devices globally, especially the Pro Max model. It appears very impressive, featuring a screen with 8,000 nits brightness, towering, dual periscope, and a lot of endurance. I, I want to try it.